Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to fix game lag. Okay guys, so on the 123MyT YouTube channel, I did a unboxing of the ASUS GL702V Strix Gaming Laptop. And after some time I noticed that I had some problem running the laptop and it seemed to be like a heating problem, overheating problem. And when I'm in games I would actually get some game lag. And there's been a quite a few other people who are also having the same problem. Uh, the thread started by Lewis here. You can see there's quite a few replies here where we all mention we're having this, this gaming lag or this problem. Now there's a few suggestions in here which I thought were really great. Um, but basically I really wanted to get to the bottom of uh, what the gaming lag was being caused by and how to fix it. Now the other thing to mention here of course is that this lag or latency that you get within the game it may not necessarily be ASUS specific so it may actually uh, cause some issues in other laptops as well as maybe some desktops as well um, I found it quite hard to work out what exactly was going wrong as I mentioned in this thread here I've also taken the laptop back to the ASUS center and they took a look at the laptop, said the hardware was fine, they reloaded Windows and all that sort of stuff, and it didn't fix the issue. So you can imagine after spending, you know, let's say $2,000 on a laptop that essentially doesn't work in games, and is specifically designed for games, that I was pretty frustrated by this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what the game lag that I was experiencing. Um, I took a video of it to, to prove what was happening. Basically what happens is the all of a sudden the um, the frame rate will drop away. Now I'm not 100% sure why um, the frame rates drop away. I know what causes it but I don't know why whether it's a heat issue and then the, the CPU is throttling back. But anyway I'll go into more of that after this video where I show you the frames dropping away. Okay I'm going to record and you'll see that you'll see the frames drop in the bottom here and it does it over and over like every couple of seconds I'll say now. 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 Okay, so now that we've seen that video and what the problem was, the next step was to try and work out what was causing the game lag. Now, I've played a lot of games before, and I hadn't really come across this this lag, this constant lag. So every you know minute bang, every minute bang, you're getting this 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 lag, this in-game lag. And it's not latency that's caused by internet because you know other people would be having the issues. But if other players aren't having the issues, then there is some problem with my machine. So after not getting much help from the ASUS Service Center, uh, I did a bit of googling and I found a few people were talking about you know problems with CPU overheating and this and that and there was some suggestions to maybe undervolt the CPU and I tried I tried a lot of stuff and I couldn't really get anything to work. What I did find out though is um, I, there was a suggestion to disable Turbo Boost. I'm like Turbo Boost isn't that meant to help your your system perform better? I'll just put up the wiki real quick for the Turbo Boost and and you can do your own research what it is. But basically, it's 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 a dynamic overclocking of the CPU, and what it does is when it when it when the system decides that it needs more power or or, or what have you, it will just give it a burst, and it will it will essentially quickly overclock um, the CPU. Now, in all intensive purposes, this is actually meant to help the system, not hinder it. I'm not sure whether the the CPU is getting too hot from that burst of, 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 of processing that the process is doing um, and therefore it's throttling back and then, then that then causes the game lag or if the problem is, um, is due to uh, just the burst itself causing the game lag somehow. I don't know that much about CPUs, so if there's some other technical people out there that can explain to me why this might be causing an issue, then please put a comment in the comments field below. However, what I did next was I went and I downloaded a um, bit of software called Throttle Stop. Okay, now this bit of software has literally saved my life. If you want to download it, you can go to the 123MyIT website. I've put a link on there for the under the downloads page. If you go to 123MyIT.com website, Scroll down and you'll see the very first uh, link here at the top, 
throttle stop game lag fix and you can click on that and download it so this is the bit of software here that I used the thing with turbo is there's you can disable it in power settings however I, I found it that it wasn't quite what would you say it wasn't reliable enough so I would do a restart of my machine and then I would have the in-game lag again so I've downloaded this bit of software and I've been testing it the problem with this is it also requires you to to run the software when you start the machine if you do a reboot it doesn't doesn't stay on your machine but you know what I'm happy to do that just so I don't have the frustration within the game there's a lot of other things on here as well there's a speed step one um, and mainly is that this is the one we're using here this disable turbo there were some other suggestions there to uh, disable um, the VT software in BIOS virtualization software in BIOS none of that actually worked for me what um, there was a, there was some suggestions to also disable speed step okay speed steps meant to um, help you when you're on when your laptops on um, on battery um, for me this this doesn't really work because I always have my my computer plugged into power anyway so the, the main thing here that really helped me out and I'll show you a video of, of the game running properly now uh, is this disable turbo so what I have to do is I have to run this before I play the game I have to put a tick in this disable turbo and then I have to click save now what I what I normally do just to make sure that's definitely working I actually take that out and I put a tick in speed step these are the I think these are the default settings okay but what I normally do is I take that off put a tick in there to disable the turbo and then I save it okay and now I'm ready to play the game so yeah so that's all you need to do so I'm going to show you a video now of uh, the game running properly without turbo enabled okay guys so the first thing to mention is I'm using it's it's, it's an Acer screen but it's actually an external screen um, which is plugged into my laptop now if you can see here we're just getting a lot of people loading in so there is a little bit of latency but if you look at the bottom right hand corner there we're going to hover around that 50 40 35 mark we don't actually ever dip down like we were before into the 19 um, you know every 10 seconds so the game is running much much smoother so all I've really done here is disabled turbo and disabled virtualization I don't think the virtualization really made that much difference to the game performance but as you can see the frustration of that game lag has now disappeared so if anyone out there really knows um, you know why the disabling the turbo is 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 it being caught is it causing heat Heat, which is then um, you know the, the the CPU is then throttling back or is it is it just that the 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 burst of, of CPU processing power is actually um, uh, causing the game to lag if you could let me know in the comments field that'd be great well that's pretty much it from me guys if this was helpful please leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys bye bye